Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Upper Michigan today. We are so excited this morning to be at Chicago Beefs in Houghton, right downtown. This is a place, Tia, that I have always wanted to check out. Their food, their pictures on Facebook, I've been following them forever, and they always just kind of like make me drool. I'm instantly hungry. It, the food looks really authentic, really original, and I'm super excited to tour and learn a little bit more. Me too, and I hear that it is super authentic, super original, super fresh. I've never tried a Chicago beef sandwich, but this is the type of food that's up my alley. I always <laughs> say spaghetti, soup, sandwich, my favorite three <laughs> categories of food. So we're... I'm excited to be You're here. You're hitting it. Yeah. yeah. Well, even just walking in this morning and just feeling the energy, it's bright in here. There's uh, great colors. There's good music. Mm. You know, it's right downtown. The it's sun so is inviting. shining. We're lucky to have a beautiful day. So I'm already all in on the vibe, on just everything that it is. They have really unique snacks. I love a good unique snack section. Probably going to grab some taffy to go. Maybe a box of moon pies. <laughs> I haven't seen those in ages. When was the last time you saw a moon pie? Yeah, seriously. Time? I don't even know. I don't, I don't even know if I've ever had a moon pie. I, I, I feel like those are like vintage. <laughs> yeah, I, I really don't know anything about it. Since 1917, it says on the box. <laughs> it is vintage. <laughs> it is vintage. All right, well, let's uh, get to the bottom of Chicago Beefs with owner Mike Glenn. Thank you so much for being on the show and having us here this morning. Thanks for being here. Let's get cozy. Let's get comfy. Okay, let's get in so here. So let's, let's start at the beginning. Uh, Chicago Beefs, how did you create it? What, what is the inspiration behind it? Um, I wanted to bring the sandwich, my favorite sandwich, up to the UP. At the time, I had a little place in Barriga. It was a snowmobile shop, and I was going to convert it to a sandwich shop, ice cream, and I kind of had pipes burst, lost the building, and stuck a trailer in the parking lot to, to bring the sandwich to the area and to myself, because it's my favorite food. <laughs> yeah. So that's how it started, a little trailer in Barriga. I didn't have a sign. People didn't know what was in there. I still hear stories that people say, I always wondered what was in that little trailer. I thought you were selling <laughs> worms. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly. Right. What is a Chicago beef? What, Sh what's the original? So the original sandwich, the Chicago beef sandwich, is an Italian beef sandwich. That's what we call it in Chicago. Nobody in Chicago calls it a Chicago beef. Uh, it's my brand name and it's uh it's it's roasted sliced thin and then um so it's when when i get it it's pre-cooked they do the roasting the slicing in chicago and what makes it italian beef uh, aside from the slow roasting and all the injection of the juices is the gravy so Ooh. it's it's au jus it's it's a beef broth okay. but we take your third pound serving we dunk it in that 185 degree gravy and that seasons it and gets it to temperature because temperature is part of the recipe in yeah. an Italian beef sandwich. And uh, so then you top it with giardinera, which is a uh, peppers and veggies mixture, uh, peppers, olives, pimentos, carrots, celery, and cauliflower. And sometimes people are, eh, and they say no giardinera. I'm like, okay, I'll translate that to mild on the side. Yeah. And a lot of people are surprised they really like it. So that makes the Italian beef sandwich really what it is. Of course, it's the beef. Of course, it's all about the gravy, but the giardinera on top. And I was looking at the menu. So you have a few options, but the you. Extra hot, hot, mixed, mild on the side. Yes. So there's a variety of spices. Uh, yeah, that's the spice level for the giardinera. Okay. So the beef itself is not spicy at all. Yeah. If somebody has an aversion to spicy foods or doesn't want the vegetables, uh, it, it you know we just do a, what we call a pure beef. Uh -huh. That's no cheese, no jar, just just beef on bread, and the gravy does something magic with the bread. And that's another thing that's all about the Italian beef sandwich being uh, back way hundred years ago. They didn't have the freshest of bread so it was real common to dunk the entire sandwich sure to get that hard bread soft so that tradition carried forward and made it just really the messiest sandwich on the planet are you hungry i am really hungry <laughs> but you too. know what <laughs> let's talk about the beef mike okay <laughs> the beef oh well i can't take credit for it uh, they're roasted in Chicago in these crazy half million dollar ovens that have these uh, 300 needles and this harness and uh, this rotisserie where the, the roasts go down in, uh, into the 300 and something degree gravy and they're injected and they're bathed and they're, it's just amazing proprietary process. They won't even let you in there with a the camera wow. to see these ovens. So it is the most premium beef in Chicago. 
I don't make it, but I private label it, of course, and so do um, a handful of the best restaurants in Chicago. And you personally pick it up and bring it back to your always, store. Always, always. That's my that's my my livelihood. That's my lifeblood is making sure that beef gets up here and it's still at the proper temperature. And uh, and I love the drive. Yeah. And so, what about the Jardinera? Do you guys make that in-house? Nope, no. Nope. Don't cut vegetables here. You got a low-risk restaurant. They cut those vegetables in Chicago. You see those jars up on that back wall over there? Um, maybe not from here, but... Well, we'll be seeing them in a minute okay. if we can't so see them yet. It, it's chopped, it's diced, it's um, pickled first. Uh -huh. It's two-stage. Now, that would be original Italian jardinera. just pickled in vinegar and served in vinegar. Ew. <laughs> um, Chicago style is transferred then into oil where it sits for at least two or three weeks. Better brands will sit for two or three months, and that sweetens it up. So then you have this sweet uh, but acidic crunchy but soft it, it just the condiment that is is called chicago style jardinera because it doesn't exist anywhere else it's amazing i'm so hungry i'm so hungry <laughs> okay <laughs> i put the microphone close to my stomach and my hair growl i'm not kidding <laughs> <laughs> all right well we want to get a tour of the of the whole sure. facility uh check out everything you have here we've got some uh questions for you regarding a particular controversial uh painting situation we need to get to the bottom of that and see where that sits yeah. see what's in place of a special uh elephant right yes yes, yes. okay the We're stolen painting the stolen painting we have so much to talk to Mike about this morning. We have to take a quick break, but we'll get into it when we come back. <laughs> All right.